Okay, Cancers. Let's see what is going on. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Sign. This is the Healing of the Soul reading. Um, it's 022. Um, so, it is the Healing of the Soul. All right, Cancers. 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 All right, Cancers. All right, I see you need to align. Um, align your life. I see your life is not really in alignment. Whatever is transpiring, I realize that your life is not going to be in alignment or isn't in alignment. So, however, that is coming up for you, Cancers. Um, this is um, what you need to work on. It came out in the reverse. You need to align your life. So it came out in the reverse. So this is something that you need to work on, you cancers, okay? Stop overthinking. Some of you cancers are really overthinking. Stop overthinking. Whatever is happening, cancers, stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north, okay? Some of you cancers are overthinking, why isn't thing, why am I not seeing, why is my third eye not open, why this, why that, not everybody a third eye needs to be open, not everyone needs to know what, whenever it's time for the information to come to you. It's as if you cancers are second guessing yourself and that is what is blocking you. You're second guessing yourself because um, you already are doing it, okay? Stop overthinking. Keep facing true naught, okay? Keep at your divine um, destiny, okay? Because what you're doing is second guessing yourself. The Palladians are going to be coming in and helping you. So whatever is transpiring, the Palladians or these high energy frequency beam, they heal the art chakra and they are going to be coming in. So call upon the Palladians to come with you. Come in as you're um, and channeling. So invite the Palladians to stand in your horror and flow through you as you're channeling so you can bring out the messages, okay? Stop second guessing yourself, Cancers, because the Palladians are here. Share your voice. A lot of you earth um, water signs are getting share your voice. You're not doing it. And they want you to share, to give more information, to communicate the wisdom that you have within. Listen to your intuition. Cross in the threshold and listen to your intuition. They need you to break out and cross that threshold. Make that ritual. Connect, okay? And this is what I was saying, you know, a friend of mine said, what, aren't you going to do full moon rituals? No, I don't do rituals. I I think, um, um, and, 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 you know, this come from your higher self, you will know what to do. I do not connect with rituals and that sort of a thing. I, I, I was given the information to give to you guys, but, um, because I'm a, I'm, I'm a month of dimension beam is that. I am the the bearer of the information, the bearer of the, the inner wisdom and guidance. And I don't do these things because not everyone carry karma, okay? But it's as if I am the person who awakened the star seeds and multi dimension. And this is why I give out the information because I don't do rituals. And basically, um, I don't, all right, and this is how you know you're a star seed or a multi-dimension. The things that earthlings connect with, so it says marriage, um, churches, and that sort of a thing, um, cultural group and that sort of a thing. I don't I'm I'm I I, I don't do that. So what is happening is that for you cancers in the sign, you cancers work with the unseen world in you know, call in the Palladians, ask them to come in, help you clear the energy in your house. Ask the angels and guides to come and clear the energy in your house, energy in your aura. Uh, ask the Palladians to flow through you, stand in you as you're going to be 
um, challenge, challenging because the cancers, and this is what I say to a lot of people, in order to know a good channeler, um, psychic is like psychic, um, is someone who is Aquarian, um, Capricorn, um, Cancers, Pisces. Um, these are the people that work with the unseen world, okay? And the Virgos. I'm always forgetting the Virgos. And you have, in this timeline, you Cancers, the time to take up what it is that you came here to do, okay? In the month of uh, um, um, uh, July, August, September, you're going to be fully awakened. So in the month of July, August, and September, you're going to be fully awakened. Energetic upgrades is going to be coming in for you, Kansas, in the month of uh, July, August, and September. A new way of being in a, uh, and uh, integration. There you go, Cancer. So this is what is going to be happening for you cancers in the month of July, August, and September. This is really looking good. It is really positive. It's really fantastic because what we're seeing, what we're seeing and what we're understanding is that your awakeness, because they're saying you already, um, you have already done it. It's, you know, you're going through the ascension, you're creating the ascension. Your soul already know what you're to do. So call upon the Palladians. The Palladians are going to be helping you, Cancers. In the month of October, November, and December, you're going to be having a rebirth. Okay? Birthing a new age. Birthing a new cycles. Okay? Birthing new creation. Dreaming a world into reality. So there you go, Cancers. So in the month of October, November, and December, you're going to have a rebirth cancers, okay? So some of you will have it in October, some of you in November, some of you will in December because of the help that the Palladians are going to be bringing in, um, the old ship of energy, because the Palladians are going to be working with you guys via your intuition, but also um, to channel. So they're helping you double via your intuition and to channel, okay? Wonderful energies. I love the Palladians. The Keeper of the Heart is also here for you Cancers, because your opposite sign is the Capricorns, which is the Earth sign, and they are watching over you. And this is why you are mostly connected with uh, this is why you're mostly connected with the um capricorns they are the best marriage partners okay all right let's see what is coming up for um the cancers in the healing section of april may and june for the cancers all right i see you're going to be standing up and using your voice and and, and give, giving out the information, okay? So you already do it, but you're going to be doing it more. Keep facing and face the truth and face your true north by communicating this, okay? So still stand up. I see that you're going to be start to share in your voice in the month of April, May, and June. I see you standing up and sharing your voice and sharing information and wisdom and light with others. I see heartbreaks is going to be coming in for some of you in the month of uh, July, August, and September. I see heartbreak is going to be coming in in the month of July, August, and September. However, that is happening. Um, art breaks is going to be coming up for some of you, but I see your energetical um, are going to be upgraded, and I see conflicts, 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 and this conflicts, this inner conflicts, there is going to be a rebirth. There is going to be a rebirth. Some of you are wondering why. Some of you are wondering why is this hasn't changed? Okay, wheel of fortune. Okay. Um, with a Scorpio heartbreak, with a um a Scorpio, I see a judgment call is coming down because there is going to be some heartbreaks for some of you, conflicts with a Cancer, conflicts with a Leo, and there's going to be some heartbreaks. Okay, judgment call is going to be coming up, so be aware. I see some of you are going to be protecting yourself, especially when you come to the last six months of this year. Mm. 
Okay. So I see a situation where you're you're communicating and via your voice. I see some heartbreaks and it has to do with a scorpion. So be aware. And there's a lot of conflicts. There's a lot of conflicts. So um, be aware. However, that is transpiring. It's going to be affecting you guys. I see you protecting yourself from this person or this situation. So cancer, it's all about the intuition. It's all, oh, you're working in the first house with yourself. All right. So cancers, it's all about the intuition. Uh, intuition to protect and intuition is there um so you're working with the intuition the attitude from the past about result from the history who you are your desires and your action okay it's about who you are your desires and your action and Pluto is here so cancers you're working in the first house with yourself and Pluto is here but it's really beautiful because it's the first house so you're you're not being affected by someone else you're working on yourself so this is good cancer so it's gonna be a good year and that is why you have art breaks dealing with Leos and uh, um, um, there is just so much conflicts that is going on so I see who are you and the need to uh, for control you, you you gotta let go control because pluto is here releasing control your desires and obsession with something or someone okay all right and your action the power struggle so a lot of you are dealing with po power struggle you cancers are dealing with po power struggle and you need to let this go okay then when we look your feelings um your feelings, um, rec um, the resecution immediately, immediately res resolution um, towards what you're feeling, um, getting to get getting right down to the arts. I see a lot of you are going to be getting right down to the arts. Okay, uh, right down to the heart of situation of what is going on. Do or die, you must, or do it on your own. So cancers, whatever is happening and transpired, there is a lot that is going to be affecting you cancers. You got to be aware of this and you got to be seeing what exactly is transpiring. And there is just a lot that is transpiring for you cancers, but not to worry because there is going to be help coming in. Dream cancer, imagination, allow your mind to wander quiet time. Just dream 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 it's all about dreaming and it's all about just imagination and have some quiet time you cancers and you will reconnect and heal your soul okay you're then you will be completely in alignments where your soul is going to be helping you to move forward whatever the heartbreaks that is going to be coming up cancer there is a lot of conflicts so of whatever the heartbreaks that is going to self-forgiveness because remember you're working on yourself okay it's all about you working on yourself self-forgiveness is coming up for you guys whatever the situation is the spirit is all about self-forgiveness let go of all guilt and remember that you are god's perfect child so whatever is happening it's all about self-forgiveness so forgive yourself for whatever has happened whatever has transpired and let it go cancers just let it go my darlings all right some of you are have been um beating up yourself over someone who has passed away so um some of you could be thinking oh my god i didn't uh, um i should have done more for this person and they're saying let it go it is not your fault. They're saying, let it go. It is not your fault. So whatever that was happening and whatever that was transpiring, some of you are beating up yourself. Someone who has passed over, you're kind of giving yourself. So it says, you know, I should have done more or should have done something differently or that sort of a thing. And they're saying, no, it's not your fault. Let it go. Let it go. Heal yourself. Move on. It is not your fault. It has nothing to do with you. You couldn't have saved this person if even you tried to. I'm seeing judgment call. Heartbreaks is coming up. 
because some of you are going to be healing your heart, letting go of things. You're going to be going back to look at all things, all emotional things that have been affecting you and have been affecting your life. And you're going to be, you know, having nostalgia. So you could be feeling some heartbreak and that sort of a thing. But let it go because what is going to be happening and transpiring is that um, it's basically going to be working out in your favor. So don't worry about this, okay? Just let it go. Whoever have lost someone and is blaming yourself, do not blame yourself because if it's not someone time, it's not going to be someone time, okay? I love you, Cancers, and I'm out.